Hello everybody. Thank you for coming to watch this video. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody that wished me better. Um, it's really appreciated. I am feeling much better now. Um, although my ear is still blocked, so I feel like I'm underwater. But apart from that, I'm good. So today I'm going to be taking you guys out somewhere. The last few videos obviously I've been doing at home and we've been cooped up because we were in lockdown. So today we are all going to the zoo. Um, and it's not a normal zoo, it's like a refuge, this one that we're going to. So um, there's some really good, interesting background story and all the animals and how they've come to where they are. And so yeah, so we're gonna take you there. Come on then, let's go. So we're at the zoo. Um, I told you earlier that this zoo, it's um, actually a refuge. The animals aren't here for show, they've actually been rescued. So we'll give you the story of all of the animals when we see them. Um, and it's called Refuge de la Arc, and it's in a town called Chateau Gompier. So let's go, have a look. Are we? Oh! Hello! You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> the ducks and pheasants were given by ornamental bird amateurs after status changes. And the turtles and pigeons and hens were abandoned because the owner went into a retirement home. And the pigeons were taken in after a zoo closed down and the domestic animal keeping binds owners in the long term. The refuge de la Arc has been hosting these animals in misfortune for a long time. <laughs> wow, look at those. There's some cool hairdos. Oh wow, look at all the turtles. <laughs> Did you see the turtles, Ernest? There's loads of them. Among the 350 animals from a zoo which was declared bankrupt and the administrator of which was imprisoned for animal abuse and trafficking, four emus had to be sent to a specialised shelter. After they were in this shelter, the refuge took them in, in addition to about 60 wild and domestic animals. All of the animals here at the refuge come from chaotic backgrounds. The refuge welcomes more than a thousand residents representing a hundred different species who live in large, peaceful enclosures on about 23 hectares. How could an African leopard roam free? This is what happened one day and caught hunters' attention in Perigord. Had the leopard escaped from a circus? No. According to the circus director, Although the circus was installed nearby, nobody came forward, so this male leopard headed for the refuge. So what's in there? What's in there? It's in dark. Is it birdies? It's in dark. Ah, in the dark? Yeah. Yeah. Wow! There's one 
Yeah, let's go this way. This way. Come on. This way. I'm going to show you something. You go this way. Go on then. over there and fruit. So apparently one of the female raccoons um, boarded a ship by herself in the USA and came all the way from the USA in a on a container ship and ended up in France and nobody knew she was on the ship how one of them ended up here and the others were kept as pets and apparently they are not very good pets to keep. Are you going for a bath? Yeah. In that bath? Yeah. Really? It's a bit dirty. You should have a wash with the raccoons. <laughs> so this cat was rescued from another zoo in France, which was declared bankrupt. And the administrator was imprisoned for animal abuse and trafficking. And now she's ended up here. These cats also, they get their name fishing cat because they've got semi web feet so they can swoop out fish from the riverbank. And they're also very good swimmers. And you can watch them diving into the water to catch birds. Dennis, are you having fun? Woo! Slowly. <laughs> Rose is a rhesus macaque monkey. She was living in a laboratory and being tested on to research human blood groups. She was left isolated and scared. When she arrived at the refuge, she was emaciated and was unable to climb the apparatus in her habitat. After five months of rehabilitation, she was able to join the other monkeys, but very gradually. He's in trouble, that one. He's had to hide underneath the plank of wood, look. Did you get in trouble? In 1985, about 15 baboons were dropped off in front of the refuge's entrance in cloth bags. They had been kidnapped by animal rights activists from a scientific research laboratory. Then another group arrived from the Visen Zoo in 1987. 
Some of them were brought by individuals and now they form a very well organized group of more than 80 animals. Are you finished? Hello. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up here? I don't know what animal's in here. There's a big bear, look! Just gone behind the tree. He's there. Oh, he's going back that way. Yeah, it's a big tiger. Wow. He's huge. Oh, he's gone indoors. Wow! <laughs> They're big tails. They're going indoors now. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. I cut the one. Oh, look who it is. We're having lunch and we've got a little visitor, <laughs> a really friendly cat. You like the pussy cat, Ernest? Yeah? No. Are we going to go in the shop and get a toy? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, look at Bambi. So, we're finished at the zoo now. And there's a big queue now for everyone to get in because it's just after lunch time. So, I hope you enjoyed the visit to the zoo. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> what did you both get? What toy did you get? Ernest got a bed. Did you get a bed? Yeah. And, and what I've did you get? A goat and I'm going to call him Loki. Loki? Yeah. What's the name of your bird, Ernest? What's his name? Uh, mine. Yeah. Mine? <laughs> mine. Does he have a name? Yeah. Yeah? What's it called? Uh, it's Ernest. Ah, Ernest. Ernest. <laughs> Same name as you? Yeah.